Sanders, Sanders Singh, and Paul Whitney. VPL Foundation Chair, Susan Knox. And other members of our foundation, thank you. Chair of the VPL Foundation's Capital Campaign, John Michael Bennett. Board members and former trustees here with us. If you can stay here. <laughs> Welcome to everyone who is here today. We're so pleased to be sharing this moment with you, and we appreciate the care and the love that you bring to this library system. I'd like to give you some background about the 23 year journey that has brought us here today. The Central Library opened in May 1995. At that time, the upper two floors were leased to the provincial government of BC as office space for 20 years, with the expectation that the library and Vancouver would someday grow to require the space. This has certainly been true, and so the lease came due, and the library undertook planning to expand our public space into levels 8 and 9. Since 2015, we've been working with Moshe Safdie and Associates and DA Architects to get these two floors designed and modernized for the people of Vancouver to enjoy. And now we're really moments away from opening these new spaces. We're particularly excited because every day patrons ask us about access to the rooftop garden. And now we're bringing that destination into reality. Opening the third bigger and more rooftop garden that will be an escape within the city that everyone in our community can enjoy. Arts and heritage programming. 
Pour le milieu culturel de Vancouver, une bibliothèque plus grande et plus moderne est quelque chose de précieux. La succursale principale continuera d'être un espace inspirant pour les gens d'ici. Elle sera aussi un modèle d'inclusion et d'engagement social. The Government of Canada is very, very proud to be part of the Vancouver Public Library's efforts to protect and share the stories of Canada and its people. As J.K. Rowling put it, when in doubt, go to the library. <laughs> we couldn't agree more, so congratulations to the Vancouver Public Library, to its foundation and board. I know all those folks who worked so hard to actually make this a reality. We are very proud to be part of the success today. Thank you. Merci. Great day for Vancouver. It's a great day to celebrate making our library bigger, more beautiful, expanding this uh, incredible space on the top of the library that so many of us have uh, have coveted and yearned for for so many years. Uh, so uh, thanks, uh, Minister, uh, for uh, for your contribution on behalf of Canada. Your your support from the federal government was obviously instrumental to this. But I, I do want to um, really acknowledge all of the local contributions to this, because uh, this has been um, has been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears locally. From uh, from the uh, first and foremost at the community level, the, the millions of people who come through this library and want to see more investments in it, more support, want to see it continue to be a centerpiece of our city, and have uh, have contributed. The city was the was the way that we raised. Uh, a significant part of this money, the taxpayers of the city have contributed over $10 million to this building. So thank you, taxpayers of Vancouver. That's, uh, that's what it, it takes, uh, paying taxes. We are really, uh, the original sharing economy is, uh, is government. <laughs> government can be a good thing. <laughs> Some may, may be skeptical about that. But when we pool our resources like this, we can do extraordinary things together. And this has been, uh, well, I think uh, Jonathan really laid out a lot of the, the key elements of why this is so important, why libraries are so essential. And I just want to recognize the whole BPL team. And that's uh, from Christine, from our former chief librarian, Sandra and Paul, from uh, the boards that we've had, the volunteers who are, are nominated by the city to serve uh, serve and protect the library, uh, and the many staff, the countless staff who work here at the library, and and uh, and lots of volunteers that support it. We've got an extraordinary base of support here at the library that make this I, one of the top library systems in the world. And this building is is really um, symbolic of how strong our library system is. But as Christine said, it's all about reaching out all over the city too, and the branches across the city and every neighborhood that make it possible. We've been opening up new um, library branches around the city as well over the past decade, which has been phenomenal, but it was time to really focus our energy on the central library branch and making this uh, crown jewel shine even more. So a big thanks to everyone within the BPL family. And uh, on the community side of that, you know, we had extraordinary efforts from, uh, from very generous, uh, John Montalbano and, the, and Susan Knott and the team on the, on the capital campaign and the fund and the, um, the foundation side, really got out there and uh, were shaking the trees, literally to make sure that we had uh, great support from those who can give the most. So we had extraordinary gifts from the community as well to make this happen. So thanks for your efforts uh, to make sure that we pulled all of these different pieces together to make sure this could happen. To Jenny Marsh for your work uh, as well in coordinating that. So that, that community <laughs> side contributing whatever we could to make sure this place could be even better uh, is essential and important to recognize uh, Cornelia and Moshe for your incredible legacy that you built here and being able to take it literally to the next levels. And, and we do truly have something uh, as a city we can be extraordinarily proud of and, and even more important that we can use that Anyone in Vancouver, anyone in Vancouver, and, and it's all walks of life as we know who use this library on a daily basis 
can use the entire library, right up to the roof. One of the most extraordinary public spaces in the city now is open to everyone in Vancouver, which is, which is all about inclusion and will stir up all kinds of important innovations, uh, great thoughts, modest thoughts, relaxation, uh, meditation, philosophizing, all kinds of things will come from, uh, from opening up this space and enabling people to mix here. And I'm, I'm so happy to see such an incredible mix of people turning out today to celebrate our library and our big investment as a community and taking care of this place and making it even more special. So thanks to all of you. It's a great day to celebrate Library in Vancouver. Thank you. Board of 
trustees that I get the chance to work with, I want to thank you. Thank you for coming and sharing this experience with us today. We hope that today and many days in the future, you will enjoy the variety of activities and experiences this space has to offer. Thank you so much. And I would like to now hand things over to John Multimano, Chair of the Vancouver Public Library Foundation's Capital Campaign. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. And, and this, uh, this audience is far bigger than I anticipated. I thought I would be talking to 20 people, so I'm really, I'm really bumped up right now. Um, and it's a great privilege that I speak on behalf of the Vancouver Public Library Foundation and the Campaign Cabinet, uh, the two philanthropic teams entrusted to raise the private funds uh, in support of the Central Library's expansion. And I hope you heard that very uh, clearly, because we've just locked all the doors, and before you get out, we're taking your wallets. Um, uh, at first, uh, I should say that uh, this has been a very personal experience for me. Um, growing up in East Vancouver and with two parents that immigrated from Italy, uh, my sister and I learned our English at the Fraser branch of the Vancouver Library, right off of 41st and Fraser, uh, as, my, as, my, as our parents couldn't teach us English. So it was the library between 1967 and 1972 uh, that taught us uh, how to speak. So I'll blame them for any grammatical mistakes I made in this this morning. <laughs> Uh, at first, uh, the thought of raising $10 million from the community was daunting, uh, as it would be the first real capital campaign that the Central Library and the Vancouver Public Library system had put on for well over 20 years. Uh, but what we came to realize very quickly is that our community of donors has maintained a historical love, and I'll go so far as to say passion, for our libraries. When we brought prospective donors here, long before this space was even built, uh, and they took a tour of this library as it was. It didn't take very long for the donors uh, to see firsthand the remarkable dedication of the staff to deliver world-class services and support of lifelong learning. All of us who've taken those tours, uh, including myself before I stepped into this role, were left in awe of how our libraries remain relevant cornerstones to an informed and engaged community. As I've been saying to the people that I've been speaking with, and I believe this very strongly because I lived it personally, uh, libraries are the great equalizers. Here, access to knowledge and information is free to all. Our libraries make no judgment of those who step in our doors, from our indigenous peoples to our newest Canadians, from our eldest and our society to our youngest. Here, you are taught how to read. You can learn English as a second language. Learn how to apply for a job. Be tutored on how to start a business. Take a free course in computer coding. Record a podcast. Make a film. Or just read a book <laughs> in the language of your choice. It is, great, it is with great pleasure that I share with you today that the Bank for Public Library Campaign Cabinet has raised over $13 million in support of the library. Of that $13 million, $6.5 million uh, joined uh, our, our, our taxpayers in, in uh, revitalizing the up, up, up this, the space for eight and nine. And in fact, inspired by our donors and all involved in this campaign, we have increased our target from the original $10 million. We're now at 13. We're going to go to $15 million to support the expansion of our learning spaces for children and teens, as well as to enhance our digital services. Uh, to deepen our digital offerings uh, and other services that we can provide. And these services will reinvigorate the other floors of this library. So we're really excited about we're not stopping here. We're going to keep on going down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me close by saying this. Uh, long before the internet, libraries were the first open source platforms for information and innovation. Uh, and because of the exceptional leadership, dedicated staff, and deep community engagement, our libraries remain the trusted source for lifelong learning, on-site and now online. Those of us involved in this campaign uh, are honored to be part of this journey that sustains the Vancouver Public Library system 
truly one of the great systems found anywhere in the world. And as we have come to say in our journey, uh, this journey goes well beyond the book. So thank you very much for all of you to be here. Thank you for your love of this library, and thank you to the staff, all of you who are here, for your dedication to serving our communities. Thank you.